Before we get into the video, guys, I have a new Discord server. The link to join this will be in the description. We will be able to talk about different stuff with college basketball and do Q&As, and I'll announce my videos and stuff like that. So make sure you click the link to join the Discord, ser Discord server. Let's get into the video. Sup, guys? It's Alex here, and welcome to my 2020 A-10 Atlantic Tournament predictions video. This conference has been absolutely dominated by Dayton throughout the course of the season, and congratulations to Dayton. They are going probably going to be a number one seed in the NCAA tournament unless they lose in this conference tournament. It just kind of depends on how the rest of the conference tournaments throughout the course of the nation go. It's going to be a battle between Dayton and San Diego State for that last number one spot, I'm assuming. But I am excited to give you guys my predictions for this conference. This is one of the lesser known team or lesser known conferences, but this team or this conference could eventually give like two, possibly three bids depending on any bid thieves or uh, Richmond is like the last four, or one of the first four out on a lot of mock brackets and Rhode Island's kind of there they've kind of fallen off the map a little bit recently in these past few weeks but they still have a chance if they can make a run in the A-10 tournament now I am excited to give you guys the predictions and why not just go ahead and get into it this will probably be a little bit of a shorter video compared to most of my other conference tournaments and stuff just because a lot of these teams I don't know too much about but I've been able to watch a little bit and I'm ready to give my predictions for it so up first, we'll, have, we'll go ahead and knock out these first round games over here. UMass and VCU, I think that VCU will pull off the 9 over 8 there. VCU at one point was projected to be like a 6 seed earlier in like December and early January, but they lost like 7 out of their last 10 games or something like that. They are not a team that's looking like a tournament team at this point. But then we'll I'll have them moving on here past Dayton because or to Dayton because I think they'll be able to beat Massachusetts. But then we have George Mason and St. Joseph's there. I think that St. Joseph's will probably end up winning that game. But then they will lose to St. Bonaventure here. St. Bonaventure is a better team than either one of those. I don't think they'd struggle too much with that. Then we have Duquesne here moving on past the winner of George Washington and Fordham, which would probably be George Washington. I think both those teams only have single-digit wins this year. So I don't think that Duquesne will struggle too much with them. At one point, Duquesne was like 13-0 and or 15-0 and or something like that. But then once they got to conference play, it kind of went downhill from there. Then Davidson and LaSalle. Davidson was one of those teams who was projected to win the A-10 tournament in the preseason, but they have had a horrible season. I think they're hovering around 500 or something like that right now. I do think they'll be able to beat LaSalle, but I don't think they'll be able to beat Richmond. And why not kind of go up the bracket here? We'll go with Richmond here moving on past Davidson as the two over seven. Then I'm going to go with Rhode Island here moving on past Duquesne. Rhode Island has been struggling as of late. They've lost like three of their last five, but they need to get wins in the conference tournament imperatively. And I think they will here over Duquesne. Then we're going to have St. Louis here moving on past St. Bonaventure. St. Louis is one of those sleeper teams. They've been pretty hot recently, but I think they did too much damage to their, uh, to their profile earlier in the season to be able to be in strong consideration for an at-large bid in the NCAA tournament itself. And then I'm going to go with Obi Toppin and Dayton here moving on past VCU. They should handle them pretty pretty easily there. But then I'm going to go with a huge upset right here. I'm going to go with St. Louis pulling off the four over one upset here. Dayton's going to be fine either way. I think they're a potential final four contender, and I think they probably will make the final four depending on the different brackets and how they're set up in the actual tournament itself. But St. Louis, these two teams have already played twice in the regular season. It, at St. Louis, it took Dayton like a final shot within the last couple of seconds to move on past St. Louis. And then I think that they only lost to Dayton by like five or six when it was at Dayton. I think St. Louis gets that win here in their third matchup of the season. And I think that's going to be huge for St. Louis's profile if they can move on to the A-10 championship game. And then I think they're going to face Richmond, who I think will move on past Rhode Island. And then I'm actually going to go with a surprise here. I'm going to go with St. Louis winning the A-10 tournament and completely stealing a bid from one of the bubble teams. So it'll be interesting to see how that shakes out. But I thought I might as well go ahead and have fun with this A-10 bracket and have St. Louis win it all. It's going to be pretty fun to see if that happens. I am really excited to see this tournament. I think that St. Louis could make a run and win the actual conference tournament itself, which would be pretty cool and upset Dayton. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave your own Comment, uh, comments and predictions about the A-10 conference tournament below. I'd really like to see what, what you guys think of my predictions and hear about your own. Make sure you jo join the Discord link, for, which that is in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all later.